everyone, I'm Joanna. And I'm James. And today we're going to show you a little bit more in the jive. And the figure we chose for you is the stalky walks, flicks and break. There's something mm. exciting, is it different? Mm. So we're going to practice those actions first solo, and then we're going to show you how we can put them together and put them into our choreography. So to practice it solo, if you stay facing the screens, so we're going to turn around so you can see us and copy. Um, the first action we're going to use is our stalking walk, a stalking walk. So to do that is in essence a tap of the foot. So I'm tapping my left foot now to the side and then for a second action, we change our weight onto it. So we're making two actions of a what would have been a normal walking action. Okay, a tap and then a step. So we just try that again. We've got tap and then step. Now to make that more apparent, and more readable between the two of us, we can add in a little hip action. If we displace the hip line a little bit in the opposite direction to the way our free foot is going, so the hip goes one way, and like that, we're sticking the hip out to the right as the foot's gone out to the left, and that maintains the feeling of keeping your body weight over your right foot. So tap, and then we can swing the hip through to its neutral position as we square up over the standing foot. Okay, we'll just try that again. So from our standing start, hip goes one way, foot goes the other. Tap, step, then we've squared up. Now be careful when you get to the step, you haven't ended up looking like that because we need that next. So now if we want to continue traveling to our left now, we can bring this right foot and swing it across. Now this time we're gonna swing the hip in that direction. Okay, so it's slightly counter to where we were going before and the head weight is gone in the opposite direction. Okay, so this time we're tapping the right foot to the floor. It feels like you're tapping the little toe of the right foot on the floor there. And then, you've guessed it, we take our weight onto it. Step. Okay, we'll just try that one again. So put your weight on your left foot. We're bringing this right foot across now, and it's just a tap of the little toe. Tap, and then step. And then we can repeat the very first action again. We've got the left foot free. So we've got tap, and this time it feels like the big toe, and then step, and we can stand on it. And this time swing the little toe through, tap, and then step. Now you can make these very progressive, or you can virtually make them on the spot. They don't have to progress very much. If we did them more or less on the spot, the left foot would actually extend out, and then it would come in a little bit. Step, and then tap, and then step. Tap, step, tap. Step. But if we want to move them, and traditionally they were moved a little bit, then actually we would separate the feet and keep them apart. Tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step. We better do them going the other way as well, otherwise we'll have one good leg, won't we? So going the other way, let's say our weight is firmly stood on our left foot, the right foot's free. We're going to extend this right foot to the floor, but hip the other way. Tap, and then step, and then swing the left foot through, tap, and step and tap, and step, tap, step, tap, step. We're rapidly running out of room here. Should we do one more set? So if we start from this direction, we'll go that way first, and then we'll do them coming back. So starting with our left foot to the side, tap, and step, and tap, and step, tap, and step, and tap, and step. We're just gonna do a few. Now this time, if we put our weight firmly on the left foot, we use the right foot, extend that big toe to the side, send the hip the other way. Tap and step and tap and step and tap and step and tap and step. I was wanting to do some more there. So there That's are fun. stalking walks, or an old fashioned name, stalking walks in the jive, and they can really add in some style to where we would have been doing some chassés or some normal walks, a very different sort of feel. And it's nice to have this little bit of variety in the jive to put in, stalking walks. Next action we're going to need, we're going to need some flicks. Now, if you haven't danced some leg flicks in the jive, every good jive should have a few flicks here and there, even if it's only one at the beginning. So we're gonna learn how to do some jive flicks. Now, there's a little bit of technique, but we'll do the basic version first. If we're going to flick the right foot, the idea is we keep our weight fully over the left foot, slightly soft knee there, slightly soft knee to make it springy. We're going to pick up the right foot using the right leg, the upper part of the leg and the knee, and then we're going to flick it down towards the ground. See if you can point the toe a little bit. Pick it up and then close your feet. 
hopefully that should free up the left foot. We can do the same action. So we pick up the left knee, point that left foot down, pick up the left knee again, close your feet. We can do the same with the right foot. So it's up, flick down, up, close. Up, flick down, up, close. Up, down, up, close, up, down, up, close, up, down, up, close, up, down, up, close. <gasps> How are you getting on with our flicks? Now, you can start to feel that there's a little bit of a spring action going in the jive, because remember, we have this slight bounce action in jive, and we want to try and keep that going through some of these actions. In fact, we need that and that energy in the legs and the ankles here as well to help give us that spring and that nice fast action. What we don't want to do is point the leg out and stop it, just put it down again. It's not flick, close, flick, close. That'll look very di slightly different dance there. We're gonna try and make sure that we flick that leg. Okay, let's try a few more of those. So we're starting with a right foot free, our weight's fully over the left foot, right leg's coming up and going out. Up, down, up, close, up, down, up, close, up, down, up, close, up, down, up, close, a one, two, a one, a two, a one, a two, a one, a two. So a little bounce action. Don't do too many of them because the knees will feel it after a while. I'm sure we're feeling warmer already than we were to start with. And it's good to practice just a few of those and get them into your choreography. Top tips for flicks. Number one, see if you can point the feet because there's nothing worse. Can't believe I'm going to put this on film. Oh, seeing, seeing the flicks and the toes are going up in the air. It doesn't look at all good. It looks like we're going to volley the football over our head. So try and make sure if you can get the toes pointing to the floor a little bit, uh, it does make a nice stylish difference. You see Joanna's got beautifully extended feet there and it makes a nice stylish difference. Next top tip, see if you can kick your bottom. <gasps> so we're gonna kick the bottom twice for every flick. So when we pick the foot up, boink, it's gonna contact that area there. See, it's coming up. So it goes up, down, up, down. Okay, we can do the same with the other leg, otherwise you'll have half your bottom would be sore. <laughs> okay, up, down, up, down. Up one, up two. A one, a two, 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 a one, a two. How are you getting on? See if you can get those heels up if you can there. Nice, that's if you've really got them going very well. The only other thing that makes these a little bit easier is to make sure you maintain a good mobile position. So by that, we're keeping the weight and the torso feeling forwards nice and mobile over the balls of the feet. Don't let your weight drop back and be over the heels because then these will be very difficult. We need that feeling of nice and springy, relaxed feel through your standing leg and that's what's gonna help make our flicks really good. So we've got stalking walks and flicks in our toolbox of ingredients. Right, let's put them together. So um, we're going to dance it in normal hold but you may as well dance it in a double hand hold. So it's uh, up to you. Um, and we're going to start with one giant basic. Uh, now you can choose for this figure because the figure uh, looks the same for um, if you dance the rock giant or if you dance the um, fully international syncopated giant. Uh, we're going to dance the syncopated giant here. And later on we'll show you the rock giant entry as well. So we're going to dance one basic. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Lead us left, follow us right. We go uh, one, uh, two, Two, uh, two, and back, replace. And here we're going to turn a little bit uh, so you feel we're in a promenade position. So we're going to uh, dance in promenade that way. So lead us with the left foot, follow us with the right foot. We're going to dance three stalking walks. So we dance point, change, point, change, point, change. So that's three of those stalking walks. And now straight away we're going to switch into the flicks. And we dance four flicks. So leaders, you're going to start flicking your right across your left. And followers, you're going to start flicking your left foot across the right. So we go flick and close and flick and close and flick and close and flick and close. Right. Now, top tip here, if we turn around, don't flick straight forward. Because both of you oh. using opposite foot, you just kick each other. 
<laughs> so we're going to kick slightly across yourself on a diagonal and then close and then again on the other side across. So you go slightly across a little bit more underneath your own body rather than towards your partner. Okay, so that's a top tip for those. <laughs> right, so let's go again from the beginning. So one jive basic and uh, one, uh, two, two, uh, two, back, replace. Now three walk. So we go point, change, point, change, point, change. Now we dance four flicks. Here we go. And, and one, and two, and three, and four. And now here, as the finish, we're going to dance a break. Oh, I could do the break. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a very long break. So we got four counts, two of them are resting. So we take a step across, lead us with the right, it follows with the left. So we dance one, hold for count two, hold for count three, and then we're going to dance a little four action. So we're going to put some weight onto our back foot, that's lead us your left, follows your right, and then replace to your standing foot. So we go a four. Okay, we'll show you that again. So one step across, lead us right, follow us left. We go one, two, three, uh, four. Okay, we show that from the other direction, like. So we go, ah, uh, for one, two, three, uh, four. Okay, let's turn one more that way, so you can see. So lead us to your right foot, follow us to your left foot, we go across, uh, one, two, three, uh, four. Very good, so we put that at the end, and then at the very, very end, just to keep you going to the something that you know, we're going to dance a turn under the arm, which you have done before already. So, one normal basic to start with. And turn one, and two, two, and two, back step, three walks. And one, and two, and three, and. Now four flicks, and turn one, and two, and three, and four. And now the break, so step on count one, and then a four. So we go one, two, three, and four. And now from here, we're going to lead a turn under. So lead is essentially going to stay facing the way you are. Lift the hand for the followers to go under. And we go one, and a two, two, and a two, and back, replace. From here, you can dance a turn back. You can go back to basic, take a normal hold. The world's your oyster. Oh, it's your oyster. Right, show try that from the other direction. So oh, yes. now you have okay. a better view. Okay, so here we go. One full basic first. And one, and two, two, and two, back step. Now walks. And point, step, two, step, three, step. Now the flicks. And one, and two, and three, and four. And now the breaks. Step across. One, two, three, and four. And now straight away into the turn under. So two chasses. Chasse one, chasse two, and back. Replace. There we go. One more time from the same direction. We do it slowly, but without stopping. Oh, my word. Are you ready for it? You are? I think so. You are. Okay, James is ready. Off we go. Ready. And uh, one, and two, two, and two. Now the walks. And one, and two, and three. Now the flicks. And one, and two, and three, and four. And the break. One, two, three, and four. Turn on the one, and two, two, and two, and back. Place. We made it. We did make did it. Did you make it? It's quite an exciting figure. Uh, you just need to make sure you get a correct count of uh, the step. If you dance four walks and you can be on the opposite foot to start flicking, it may not feel so natural. So three walks and then four flicks and then you'll be on a correct foot to start the breaks. Hmm, very good. I think one of the things when we're dancing our flicks together is to make sure you don't disturb each other's balance too much. So. I take that for granted because Joanna never does that for me. She's always very, very taking care of her own balance. But we try and make sure that you're on your own feet. If you start interfering a little bit with the other person that you're dancing with, it can affect both of you and it changes the nice centered feel you have of that fast action of the flicks. So really take care of your own balance and then I think it will improve all around as a couple. Right. We're going to try it with music. Are you ready? So I think with the music, we're going to show it with a rock jive version. 
and then we'll show it second with a syncopated jive version. So remember the rock jive, instead of dancing our one, a two, our triple step action, we're just dancing one slow step to the side for our basic. To be honest, it's only at the beginning and the end of this sequence anyway that you would see any difference because all the other figures are exactly the same. But we show it in two directions, so we'll do rock jive first, and then we'll turn around and we'll show it as the syncopated jive. So we'll start over here, we're gonna get the music on, we'll give you a count in after four, and then we're off with our rock jive. So here we go then, one, two, three, four, and side, side. Step, step, one, and two, and three, and flicking close, and flicking close, and flicking close, and flicking close, and one, two, three, and four. Back step. That was fast. We're gonna show in the opposite direction <laughs> as well. So starting now with our syncopated jive. Get ready. Five, six, seven, eight, I want a two, I want a two, step, step, a one, two, three, and I want a two, I want a two, I want a two, I want a two, stop, two, three, ball change. Thank you very much for uh, watching our jive video. So that was uh, stalking walks, flicks, and a break. Oh, a break, I need to lie down now <laughs> after all that. So it's quite quick with the music, as you probably can tell, especially for that syncopated jive action. So really make sure you get those actions fast, well balanced, lots of energy in the legs, and then jive really comes to life anyway like that. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. Great. See you all again very soon. See Thanks you next so time. Bye-bye.